Adele Vostro 430 with Intel's first generation of Core i5 750 processor, power button, a four USB port as well as a three and a half inch bay here for like multi card readers, audio jacks behind this sliding door. We got our two five and a quarter, five and a quarter base hidden behind flaps. This is a DVD rewritable drive. This has some perforation on either sides. Dimple at the top for items. Some ventilation for your expansion cards. This does not have a tooless way to open a panel, so you do need a screwdriver to unscrew the screw over there and over there. Here is a spot where you can uh, put. Um, well, that's the problem. Well, this panel is poorly not correctly put on, so thankfully I'm revisiting this computer. Got a Best Tech 300 watt power supply. Our two hard drives are mounted to this metal panel here, and otherwise there's a lot of waste of space back here. The camera wants to take a look. Yeah, a lot of waste of space there. And yeah, your two five and a quarter inch bays are not tooless. You need to use screws. This is a Vostro system after all, it's a lower end system. It's not an Optiplex, it's not a precision. Rear case fan is screwed in place, no rubber grommets. So then you have your fan and heatsink. You got four RAM channels there. DDR3, if not mistaken. Standard 24 pin over there, four pin CPU up there. PCIe X16 slot is populated by a GT310 graphics card because this does not have onboard video. PCIe X1 and two PCI slots. Front panel I.O. down there. Four SATA ports over there. And there, that's the internals of chipset over there. More so different IC integrated circuit over there. Your MOSFETs. Back here, your standard ATX power supply, full expansion base, which again is not tooless. You do need a, a screwdriver for installation of expansion base. Three audio jacks, six USB, two ports. You got your Ethernet, serial, DVI, I, dual PS2. It says Fostro 430A, whatever the difference is. So yeah, that's a showcase of this Fostro 430. I find this completely unnecessary. 